What's going on guys? Joel back with you for another snap on Wednesday. Today, uh, Tyler's not in, so we are doing some more testing on the FDX sockets. Let's get to it. As I said, uh, Tyler's not in here today. He's uh, he has the week out, the week off. Um, so I figured we would do our own snap on Wednesday, and uh, you know we did some testing on the FDX sockets. If you don't know what the FDX sockets are, these are sockets designed by Snap On with tighter tolerances. Tighter tolerances. They are uh, built to uh, uh, take off somewhat rounded fasteners. Um, I have been putting them through their through their paces using them on a daily use and they seem to be holding up quite well uh, they uh, I haven't had any issues with them so um, they've been doing really really well but uh, my last testing we did kind of round bolts off uh, unnaturally so I figured that we would put these things through the test again uh, someone had uh, mentioned on uh, my last video about maybe rounding it off with a socket or with a wrench and uh, going from there. So it's more real world testing and that's kind of what I wanted to get to, to see if these things are really worth the money. So I'm gonna bring you over behind here and we're gonna show you what we got going on again. It's almost the same setup, but we're gonna do it differently this time. Let's go. All right, so uh, last time we, uh, we used the 14 mil, uh, not 14 mil sockets um, to, to test it fairly. I didn't want to use the same one, so I'm using a 12 this time. Uh, might be a little bit easier for me to round the, the nut off too a little bit. So, uh, well, these, they, that's my thought anyway. So again, a 12 mil Mac, 6.12 mil Snap-on flank drive, original 6 point. And then we are gonna open this up and uh, a brand new uh, flank drive extra. Uh, I have used it a few times. I can't say that I haven't. It isn't, but it is brand new, and it, but it has been used, but it hasn't been used for any kind of testing. So, uh, as you can see, three in relatively good condition sockets. I'm gonna wind these down, and we are going to round them off with a wrench i figured a good old flank drive plus uh, should do it so we are going to drive these down and we are going to round them off with the wrench and then uh, see if we can round off all all six corners and then to get them to the point where they won't work with the mac and they won't work with the flank drive but they will work hopefully in theory with the flank drive extra so let's start it Okay, as you can see, these are spinning freely with my hand, so we are gonna, and I did too, just for control, well, you know, maybe one doesn't work. So we're just gonna fucking reef on these things until we round them off. Oh, there we go. Ugh. It's a lot of, a lot of grinding, a lot of shavings coming off that bolt. This is more real world testing for sure. Let's uh, round them off just a little bit more, try and get some more out of it. Uh, all right. I will, I will say that the flank drive plus wrench, not even spreading. That's tearing the hell out of these bolts or these nuts. I couldn't even, I don't, I don't know what kind of torque's gonna be on there. We're probably looking close to 
40 or 50 foot-pounds. Let's just make sure that they're rounded off. All right, all in the same frame. Mac, 6.12 mil. Try it on this one. It's just slipping. Okay. Flank drive, six point. Slips. And we will try that again on this one. Oh yeah. Okay. Flank drive, extra. 12 point, or six point, sorry. And we are going to put that on there. Oh, ho, ho. Let's try another one. It just wants to slip. Can't say that I'm really impressed, boys. I cannot say that I'm impressed. Let's see if we can, just for shits and giggles here. Oh. Really? Not even, a, not even close. won't even tighten it well there you have it sure feels like it wants to grab it though and then it just comes off show you a little bit closer here what kind of condition these bolts are in or the nuts. So there is still, the hex is still somewhat intact. They're just rounded off. Not impressed at all. Uh, flank drive, flank drive regular. Flank drive plus or extra. Yeah, no, they're they're super 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 uh, tight. The tolerances are definitely a lot different, um, and that is that is mainly due to do with this. So if you can see that, here's the regular flank drive socket. Um, it did some damage on that one. This is the 12 mil that we just used, guys, and. Uh, it kind of ripped the shit out of the sides. Um, but you can see how the flank drive socket's got a bit of a taper, and this one's more flat. And the, the corners right here, they just got a little less of that on there. Um, and that helps it grab more towards the inside of the, bolt, uh, the nut or the fastener, whatever you're using. And that's what, in theory, is supposed to make these things work a little bit better. Uh, are they working better? Well, I mean, again, we did a little bit of an extreme one, so... Uh, and I'm not making any excuses. Somebody just said I was making excuses for shitty tools in the last one. No, I didn't make any excuses at all. Uh, the fact of the matter is, is that they do hold tighter on a bolt. Um, and with less damage, actually, I haven't really noticed much damage um, Oh, any more damage uh, to the fasteners and then using just a regular flank drive and that's pretty much all I use is flank drive so um, that's what we're looking at and this is why in theory these are, these are supposed to work better you be the judge all right guys I hope you enjoyed today's snap on Wednesday if anyone has any more recommendations on what to do with these flank drive extras besides puck them in the garbage um, Please let me know. Uh, 
very, very interested in knowing what you guys think. I know that I've had a lot of comments about uh, how they work really well. Um, so far, uh, I mean, they work perfectly fine in an everyday use situation for me, but uh, however, they're not really working as far as what they were supposed to be designed for. If that's really what they were designed for, was that really their purpose or was it just the tighter tolerances? Um, maybe a little bit less rounded off fasteners. I mean, again, these were pretty extreme rounded off, uh, but you know, not as extreme as the, what, as the last one was. The last test, if you guys recall, they were just rounded right to hell. Uh, these ones here, let me grab it for you. Not quite as bad, uh, but you can see that they were pretty much rounded off. But the hex is still there. It's still a hex shape. Uh, we still do have the sides, which is really where it's supposed to be grabbing by. And uh, still. So am I impressed? No, not really. Are they worth the $300 price tag? No, not really. Uh, maybe for you guys, maybe they are. Uh, and maybe we would have had different, uh, uh, different results had it been uh, shallow. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. You guys be the judge. So that's pretty much all I got for you guys today. If you guys want to pick up one of these Snap on Wednesday shirts, the link is in the description. Um, I do have all five days of the week. And uh, yeah, the back, we got the Snap on logo, the Snap on tool review logo, uh, although yours will, will say the SO tool review, you know. It is what it is, snap on, and they're bullshit. So that's all I got for you guys. Uh, comments in the description below are always greatly appreciated. Remember to comment, like, share, or subscribe, and peace out, guys. See you next week. Thanks.